bring that bring that bring me that bring 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 I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing with the sensors and how to install them. So, let me update you guys. Number one, so I made this bracket. I didn't honestly find the reason for me to make a full video how to make the bracket. Uh, it's, it's basically one eighth uh, inch stainless steel and all I did is drill two holes for the forks and two holes for the bracket in the back and as you guys can see, it's pretty straight. It's gonna be pointing on the ground and the wire is gonna go through the fender all the way back to the ECU. And next, I figured I'm gonna start making the shock sensor. So here's what I came up with. Let me show you guys first what I need to do. So the shock sensor needs to be basically bolted to the top bolt of the shock and the bottom bolt of the shock which is right down here so i decided i found two other bolts from my toolbox and i figured why don't i just bolt that drill and thread that bolt with m4 by 0.7 bolts which they're right here and these guys should fit no problem inside the shock right there so for now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just have a time lap video to show you guys what i've been doing and how i'm doing it it's pretty simple but figured maybe some of you guys want to see it so i'm gonna record it see you guys in a bit All right, so as you guys can see, I tapped the top of this bolt, and now I can thread the M4. See, they're all bolted together. Um, let me see if I can show you. A little bit better. So, you can see right here, I drilled the bolt. I know it's not exactly in the center, but I'm sure it'll be just fine. Uh, so it's tapped all the way through up to here. I figured that uh, I could just buy the fancy aluminum, the fancy billet aluminum, whatever thing, uh, bracket to hold this in place for like hundred bucks or whatever. But honestly, if I can make it work, and I don't have to pay anything why not ju just do it and I know for a fact this is gonna be more than strong enough like this is a bolt uh, it's very strong versus like an aluminum bracket or an aluminum nut that's bolted to this bolt I feel like all the vibration this little tiny bolt is just the threads on that aluminum block is not gonna be strong enough versus this you just can't go wrong with it right so I think this is it for tonight, guys. I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I wanted to do half the job today and the other half tomorrow. I did finish up the the wheelie, uh, the front wheel position sensor or height sensor. That's done. Half of the job with the shock mount sensor is done. And the goal is hopefully by this weekend, all the sensors are gonna be mounted and Sunday or early next week, I'm gonna start with the harness. This is just a must. I need to get this bike running, hopefully within like two weeks, tops. I can't wait to hear this turbo and the fuel pump. 
and all the extra shenanigans. And you know what, guys? Stay with me. Stay tuned, and I'll keep you guys updated. Please like and subscribe, and share if you can. Thank you so much, and have a good night. Good night.